We've all seen the Battlefield 2042 trailer at this point, and maybe you had a similar reaction to me when you saw that Ronda Zook scene. Yes! Oh my god, no way you did this! Oh! <laughs> no way, bro, that's amazing! Holy shit! So what is the Battlefield Ronda Zook, though, that so many people know about? Well, contrary to popular belief that this stunt was first pulled in Battlefield 3, it actually started back in 2006 in Battlefield 1942. Don't worry, we'll get to the Battlefield 3 Ronda Zook and some history on the name and who pulled it off, but here's the original clip of the Loop Zook from 2006. The clip was posted on May 28, 2006 by none other than Zooka Man. And although Zooka Man hasn't uploaded in over 12 years now, the legacy of the stunt lives on with people in each Battlefield game attempting and completing the stunt. Around five and a half years later, in December of 2011, Stun Gravy completed the Loop Zook in Battlefield 3 with a jet. Others completed the stunt in Battlefield 4, and you can see how this became a theme and staple in the community. So, DICE decided to deliver to the community with the Battlefield 2042 trailer, one of the most iconic Battlefield trick shots, the Ronde Zook. But why is it called the Ronde Zook and not the Loop Zook? Well, it comes down to popularity. The Ronde Zook was a wildly popular video with nearly 14 million views as of the current day. The Loop Zook, on the other hand, only has around 2.4 million. And if you're a super veteran or fan of Battlefield, over 15 years ago, the Bazooka rocket launcher used to be termed the Zook when it was used to shoot down an enemy plane. The term Zooking started to blossom, and the Loop Zook was simply a combination of two terms, doing a loop in an airplane and also performing a Zook. The kicker on top was landing back in the plane. The Ronde Zook was named by Stun Gravy, the person that completed the trick shot. He explained that the term is a play on the words rendezvous and zook. Rendezvous because you rendezvous back with your jet after zooking the enemy jet. Goes on to say, you can still eject from your jet and shoot another jet with a rocket launcher, but unless you land back in your own jet, it's not a rendezvous zook. Here are the three clips synced up side by side. If you enjoyed this video, help me out in the sea of YouTube by dropping a like and consider subscribing to the channel. We're covering all things Battlefield 2042 here, and subscribing is the absolute best way to know when new info is coming out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.